<laughs> yo, 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 what is up, my fallopian tubers? It's Sadio from the Fadio coming back at you with another video for your butt. And, man, I uh, just opened up a box of Prism Live. And um, I said what I was going to do is um, show everybody the process that I go through to put my cards from packs into a binder. So I'm going to show you guys the process. I was pretty stoked that I pulled my first Panini Rewards ever. Sweet! But... I'm going to put this set in order and into a binder. So let's go. Okay, so normally this is something I just do on a park bench or in my room on my desk. But today I'm going to show you guys some visual aids just so you get um, it's easier uh, to tell you how I do it. So I got this piece of paper here. And I'm going to use these um, to mark uh, where I'm going to place my cards. Okay, so let me show you how it's done. I'm going to just start off one at a time and make all these boxes so all I'm doing right now is just for visual aid like I said I never done this before so it's not gonna come out perfect but just to give you guys a visual aid of what I mean all right so now what I'm gonna do is put down the cards that are gonna go through here and like I said this is not something that I ever do for reals I just visualize it but just to give you guys a visual aid so you understand exactly what I mean all right so you can see I normally before I used to do it by hundreds I would put the zeros to 100 the 100 to 200 300 400 and so on but now I do them into 50s I find it so much faster so let's just start putting these cards away you know so i'll get like card number 248 it's gonna go right here okay so uh, turn these around you go card 249 it's gonna go right here in the four in the 200s early 200s 70 50 through 99 180 it's gonna go right here 86 it's going to go in the 50 through 100 50 to 99 actually 211 in the lower 200s 246 the lower 200s 107 the lower 100s like i said these all go by 50s so lower lower 50 lower you know teens i guess 264 the higher ones 96 there 193 right here and so on so let me finish this up okay so i got up to 50 up to 100 150 200 250 and 300 and i use these extras to be placing all um, all the inserts in all right so next what i do is i'll get my stacks of say the last ones this ones will be 250 to 300 and then i'll start putting like the 90s here the 80s uh 70s 60s 90s let me guys show you the numbers the 70s will go here the 80s here what is that 80 here 90 here 95 here 52 here 90 50 70 80 60 so we got the 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And then these are easier, way more manageable, manageable stacks to pick up with your hand and just put them in order in your hand. And there we go. 295, 94, 93, 91, and 90. And then I'll put these right here and then I'll do the 80s. 88, 80, and 289s. I'll put them up here. I'll do the 70s. 79, 76. 65, 64. 53, 52. And boom. That is in order. So now I'll continue to do the rest with the lower 200s now. You know, so I just keep going. Zeros, 30s, no. 30s uh the teens 30s 30s 
the 20s, the 30s, the 20s, oh man, the 20s, the 40s, 40s, 20s, zeros, and 30s. All right, so like I said, and I just keep going down the road, man. So what I'm doing now is putting a couple of stacks together that, you know, this is like the stack that I just made. And then like, this is the stack that I had before for some blasters. So, you know, I start going backwards. The 99, 98, 97, uh, 97, 96. And that's how I put two piles together when I have two piles already in numerical order. This is what I do. And you see I'm piling them up right here. So we got 90, 86, 86, 86, 85, 84, 83, 83, and so on until eventually I put make both of those piles into one pile. Okay, guys, so I separate all my inserts and relics, and there's my pal. Now I'll just put them in a binder. So I went and looked, and I luckily I have a basketball binder. I believe I picked this up from Card Dreamer. It's pretty sweet. So normally what I like to do is take out the pages and put them in the pages directly first. I don't like um, the limitation it gives you when you're trying to put them on while it's still in the binder. So I'll take the pages out. And then put them in like that. And so because of the way I put them in order backwards, the number one will be first. And that's going to go into the sleeve. And then you know how it goes. Put them all in order. And so I do have a lot of doubles. As you can see with number two, Charles Barkley, I have a few of them. And normally I like to put the best one in there. So if I have like a parallel, I normally like to put that parallel inside the binder itself and that's all i got for the first page i only got three out of the first nine and so as i put in a minute you know i fill up the pages then i just flip that page and then get a new one and continue like that okay and then i flip them over and so as i'm doing this and i get doubles the doubles i just put them in a pile and they'll automatically be in numerical order when i'm done and 57 goes right here you know and so this process itself can be a little lengthy i guess i mean but i love it so you know my ocd i guess i have and stuff like that uh i almost get through this and i love organizing and putting stuff in order and it does take a while so if you don't have the patience, you know, or you could uh, always have a tasty beverage of your choice next to you. And in case you're wondering about like the inserts and relics and stuff, I don't consider those a part of my set. I just collect, I'm just going for the base set. So I finished putting them in the binders. Those are my doubles right there. And I'll just put them in the binder. All right, guys. So that's how I put them. All in order and in the binder. So you can see, man, I'm not even close to having to complete. I even got a couple of pages with nothing in them. So then all that's left is to make the checklist. And basically, you go through your sheets and find all your empty numbers and start pulling in the numbers. And you can see, man, I have a lot. So that is it, guys. My checklist is done. And as you can see, I made an error on the few cards that I thought I didn't have already. But that's how it's done, guys. So just love the hobby. Keep collecting basketball cards forever, I say. Ciao! Ugh. Press proof. What the hell does that even mean? Kobe.